You see nimeshafika ile point kama ni ku prove say if I want to win awards nilishashinda. Kama ni kutoa album nilitoa, kama ni kufanya shows nilifanya, kama ni kupiga show big crowds nilifanya, kama ni kupiga show majuu. Kwanza right now very few Kenyan artists wanapiga show majuu. Sisi enzi enzi tuko tunapiga show majuu like ilikuwa unaishi kwa ndege. Mm-hmm. Eh? Yeah? Unajua ile hali ya anga wewe unaijua? Mm-hmm. Eh yeah, tuko tunashinda kwa ndege because we used to do so many The, the difference is those days akuko na social media to showcase what we used to do uh-huh. but sisi by garden is uh, he knows what he's doing he's uh, he ako in his element because you see at the end of the day uh, in any situation whether like it or not kuna mtu mwenye when a opportunity arises you know what you're doing you 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 become in your element and the moment you're in your element of course you'll be a leader in that field <laughs> so garden is a top artist that one we can dispute no one can dispute that garden is uh, he knows what he's doing he's uh, he ako in his element because you see at the end of the day uh, in any situation whether like it or not kuna mtu mwenye when a opportunity arises you know what you're doing you 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 become in your element and the moment you're in your element of course you'll be a leader in that field mm-hmm. so garden is as we speak right now and it's not only garden alone there are people who moji is doing a lot of work man moji is doing a lot as in there's a uh, timeless there's a uh, jabidi they're working it's only that uh, people work in different fields and appeal to different crowds but we can't we can't take that away from garden mm-hmm. he's right now is at, at the top of his game mm-hmm. and uh, coming back to, to to your other question uh, for me i've been here for 20 years bro kama ni mziki nimefanya yani unajua you see nimeshafika ile point kama ni ku prove you say if i want to win awards nilishashinda kama ni kutoa album nilitoa kama ni kufanya shows nilifanya kama ni kupiga show big crowds nilifanya kama ni kupiga show majuu kwanza right now very few kenyan artists wanapiga show majuu sisi enzi zetu tuko tunapiga show majuu like ilikuwa unaishi kwa ndege eh yeah? unajua ile hali ya anga wewe unaijua eh yeah, tuko tunashinda kwa ndege because we used to do so many The, the difference is those days akokuwa na social media to showcase what we used to do uh-huh. but cc by the time ulikuwa you, you 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 have big songs here in kenya uh-huh. ulikuwa ume dominate market ya tanzania uganda zambia so tuko tunashinda tuki travel na shows za uk huko tulifanya show sana and that's the only thing i will urge the, the artists right now they, they need to to change on how they approach stuff because uh-huh. unfortunately if you're not careful eh, the same way the bible says eh, a prophet is never respected at home so for a while itafika mahali wasa wata feel si ato umechoka na wewe but utakuwa umesha exhaust the favor so you need to start planning for the next phase so for me i did all that and eh musa mziki ni kama mziki ni kama wife ama kama dame that's the difference about eh, any other career music it needs attention If you don't give it attention it will never give you any result. Mm-hmm. So if you're not concentrating on music and doing music like kuna shinda una kama say garden 90% of his photos anakuanga wapi? Ako studio. Yeah. You understand? So ina muziki ko hivyo. Inataka attention ni kama dem. Unajua dem pia usompea attention kidogo ara kutoka. So that's the same thing. So if you don't give attention to to music definitely it will not give you any result. So for me right now watu wengi hawajaijua. I have a fully fledged office i wake up in the morning go to the office 9 to 5 mm-hmm. each and every day there are few days that i dedicate kama saa saa hii mimi on a normal days ni zile picha si i don't post but normal days i wear suits every day ninga kwa office asubuhi na mapema so you see in my office i do so many things to level up by by the time i go to the studio unapana kama it's just more of that a substitute thing that i'm doing but it doesn't mean that i've stopped doing music it doesn't mean that i've stopped praising the lord it doesn't mean that i don't do anything towards my ministry i still try to preach online and i still what i'm doing you know na malaika it takes a lot of your time mm-hmm. malaika because i have to go to look for these children each and every year we support more than 300 kids bro to get surgery to get prosthetic limbs and to make sure we transform their lives i hope i've answered your question yes When I, when I say enzi zile enzi it's so obvious zile enzi ulikuwa unajiwanga tuko tunatoa top chatting songs each and every moment you understand there's a difference between when 
na toa ngoma moja just for you understand kuna zile ngoma mimi natoa tu na ikatua online and then but kuna zile school uko natoa songs you are so sure this song is go, it enough to shake the whole east and central africa unapata mimi niko napiga show paka togo manze niko togo niko bukina faso to bina nilipeleka weird countries zenye hata watu waongee kizungu unaongea wanafikiri najua ki french kumbe ni ki french nile niliandikiwa you get so all those things eh we, we are referring to those days ni tulikuwa tunafanya vitu kama hizo sasa hii I, I rarely even do shows. I rarely even perform. Once in a while ndo nipata kwa stage na perform. I appreciate because I still get the same love. Nimeona nimekuwa juzi tumekuwa cheza gospel uh, Dandora. Uh, the reception was amazing. So I still get the same love. I appreciate. But kuna wakati tuko tunafanya in one week you end up nishapea hiyo story in one week tuko tunafanya show kama saba. In one week tuko tunamea kama 3 million. In one week and you make na unaenda home na uko sawa so yeah. there is a hashtag ya kesemekana kwamba bring live boy tunataka na live boy yeah nimeona kwa wakati wako ambao pia watu wataishi kwamba hashtag itakuwa ina trend wanasema kwamba but me you just see that divin zinaanga support yangu kwa scene onyo live boy alipotea kabisa me as much as naweza kwa anapotea naweza potea mostly mnapata nimepata maybe kwa kimziki but kuna vitu vingine bado nafanya you get eh and i really appreciate uh, your question because eh kuna hizo moment and it's a good thing nataka wase mimi najua kuna wase wengi wako na talent that wana need to mtu someone to believe in you and tell you hey we need you back na ukishapata call kama hiyo by the you always feel energized na kusema hey if these guys want me back let me go back to the studio so naibu pale huko bro kwanza ndakupigia simu leo because bro unatafutwa yeah we will say that we get that's a very interesting question because nimekuwa nikiona online what was happening eh I think ni mikona pose kama 3 or 4 weeks ago. Eh? Uh, we had a very in-depth analysis on so many things that is in the quality yake. Na there are things ni kama alikuwa anajua zinaweza kuja ku happen because through our, after our conversation in him understand he knows there are things which is happen. So when he was arrested which nowadays uh, nowadays is really hard. Was he really arrested? Yeah. yeah. He was okay. Even cash bail. Okay cuz you know you are nowadays wacha niambie kitu moja mimi kitu naogopa kujiingiza kwa sorry mob kuna msi ali alikuja paka akaeka pay bill akasema vile ni mgonjwa and then ukoje tukao discover ilikuwa ni kiki i was so shocked so squeeze paka i think nimezeeka sana ama ama i don't know what happens because there are some people who do things but time unaanza ku follow up unapata ah ni msanda kutoa ngoma mm. ama ni msanda katu ku trend ama mm. so before you involve yourself you have to take time so if you guys have confirmed that it is true then it's quite unfortunate and i'll quote because of what uh, cyber bullying eh? cyber bullying eh? yeah he released a song this in uh, diana party oh yeah. that's unfortunate man that's really really unfortunate cuz ni msikia story mingi mara aligonga mtu mara kashindo i so which which is which you get yeah So that is very unfortunate because uh, uh, I know pose I know but oh, not what ni ni mwana hivi wa watoto so najua vizuri sana mm-hmm. and I will say it's quite unfortunate because tukishafika hapo I think tunafaa ku reach a point where by what industry mm-hmm. that things you maybe you can just sit down and and them out mm-hmm. uh, but pia you never know mtu amefika to what level ndio cause ndio pia kwa hiyo wale unapata kuna mse maybe mtu amenikosea na jaribu kuongea naye aski na jaribu kuongea naye aski you understand so you don't know what next you can do it's quite unfortunate for both of them i don't know the real story so i'll not go in depth ku ku ku, ku dissect the whole story na 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 julia hapa but uh, I, i always believe we paul is one of the most talented kenyan artists we have so when i see some things happening Mimi mimi uchungu because nakumbuka the, the raw Willie Paul the raw one the, the one before kwa superstar the way the guy alikuwa na BD the way the guy alikuwa anaandika songs alikuwa anaandika vitu na shindwa ai umto hii ni mnoma and apart from that he's a holistic artist you know there are very few artists who can dance choreograph sing perform have an image 
You understand? Mm-hmm. All those things in one artist is really hard. Mm-hmm. He, he has posture. You know, Willie Paul ni ule hata kingia hapo na jende ule pose amefika. You know there's some artists that kingia hapo yanatembea na jende huyu ni msanii ama but pose yako na yani uko na presence. Mm-hmm. And you see for you to become a 360 artist you need to be to have all those things. So kuna kitu mmoja na feeling that's just one element that is missing in him and I hope one day one time that he'll fix it. You know music is very interesting eh? Sometimes music is kwangi the most talented no penya. Sometimes ina kwanga because when nimesema Willy Paul is the most talented artist me one of the most talented artists you know in this country and uh, mtu mwingine akitaka kunipinga niambie ni mgani mwingine anasema Pose Pose is one of those guys me najua he'll perform he'll sing he'll dance he akona presence you know you know ni ngumu sana upate ni one person Baha Baha has one thing we call business acumen. Unaelewa? Ba you know in life you have to overcompensate in something. If you're missing something, there's a way you need to compensate with something else. Unaweza kuwa hauna kama mimi sahii hapa. I remember that in this day to roll kwa ni compare na, na Jimmy Gate. Yeah. But Jimmy Gate has vocal prowess that means he's a hit. I can't sing like Jimmy Gate to that level. So I don't know kwa ni compare na shindwa. Hey mimi Jimmy Gate anaweza kucheza piano, acheze guitar, anaimbe. Me I can me another chat to Vuvuzela bro. Sasa if you compare me with Jimmy Gate at that time ilikuwa ngena nishangaza sana because I knew that I don't have the same vocal prowess but I can overcompensate by the virtue that I lack something in that end and do something else. So mimi na nilikuwa na the same thing. Uh-huh. I had the business acumen. I knew how to talk to corporates, I knew how to approach corporates and I knew how to advance my my skills that you can depend only on the industry mm-hmm. but you can extend it to the corporate world and even to the government. That's why ukangalia vizuri vitu zangu zinakuanga more I deal with more with corporate <coughs> and government in